Pet Shop Pictures here, and today, upon request, I'm going to teach you how to make a YouTube background. Uh, since YouTube is changing the uh, the theme to Cosmic Panda, I'm going to show you how to do that. There's no sense in um, using the old style to make a background anymore because they're just going to change it on March 7th, I believe. Okay, so we're going to go into Adobe Photoshop and then you're going to make a new file that is um, 1920 pixel pixels by 1080 pixels. So here, this is going to be the background, and then you're going to make another new file, which is going to be 988 pixels by 1080 pixels. Now, you are going to copy this image right here, the second one. Not save it, stupid. Copy, there we go, and then paste it onto this image. And then the layers should look like this, and then put a color in the background. And then so you're going to have two layers, one is going to be the background layer which will have the background and then this layer right here will be where the middle part of your background is going to be. So you can leave it like this. Um, if you want to, like with the middle inside of it, or you could just use it as a guide so you won't put anything inside of the area where your um, videos and your comments and your about me place is going to be. Now, for the background layer, you can put a pattern on it. So you're going to find your pattern that you want. Or you could put a picture on it. So let's choose the pattern. Let's see. This one will be good. And once you open your pattern, you're going to highlight it, and then you're going to go to edit, and then press define pattern, and then name it. And then you're going to go back to your image, right click on the bottom layer, which is the background layer, and um, go into blending options. Then you're going to go to gradient overlay, well not gradient overlay, pattern overlay, silly me, and then you're going to choose the pattern that you just made, and then you can make it bigger or smaller or anything. Then if you don't like the color of your pattern or you want to put like a cool effect to it, you're going to go to gradient overlay, and then We'll choose two colors and then press overlay for the blend mode. That looks cool. Huh, that's awesome. Okay, now you got that for the background. You're going to go to the top layer and then go to blending options. And this is something that I like to do. You're going to go to outer glow and then get a color from your background layer and then make it as that color and then you're going to go to normal and then you're going to make the size really big like so it can like glow and then maybe let's see whoa that's awesome it's an overlay <laughs> and then you're going to go to inner glow change that to normal and then choose the same color but lighter and then make that size pretty big and then change the opacity so there's a little bit hint of greenness and then you're going to go to stroke and then you're going to make it white make the size 
Well, maybe four to five pixels and then make the blend mode overlay. Maybe make the opacity a little bit lower. And that's something that I like to do. And then maybe change the opacity of the middle smaller. Now then, if you're an LPS tuber and you're watching this video, then let's add a LPS to our background. So, I'm going to find the LPS that you want. Let's see. Um, let's see here. One that will match the background color. Um, how about this one? This one will be good. And then you're going to go to the magic wand tool. And um, it might be, it will probably be quick selection tool by default, but then you're just going to right click on it and then choose magic wand tool. And then you're going to click on the white. And I got, um, you can get little special pictures um, from nicole-mysite.blogspot.com. You can find um, really good quality um, pictures there. And then... You're gonna cut out the little swatch up, remove the shadows and stuff, and um, if it's a white little pet shop, then um, go to polygonal lasso tool, the um, the automatic um, tool is gonna be lasso tool, you just gotta right click on that, and then you're gonna go to, oops, Sorry. Um, you're gonna go to let's see. You're going to go to this this one if it's the one with the plus sign. It's that one right there, the second one, and um, at the top. And you're gonna choose the one if you want to remove parts of the pet that you don't want, or you can choose the one that's the third one and it has a minus on it, and then you can um, add parts to it that you can't get with the uh, magic wand tool. So then we're going to do that. There we go. Fix that a little bit. And then you're going to right click on it and then press select inverse and then you're gonna get that you're gonna copy it then you're gonna paste it and there we go you're gonna erase this right there there you go and then oops sorry then you're gonna go to edit and then free transform then you're gonna press the shift key that's for windows I don't know what it is for Mac and then you're gonna resize it and um, that makes it so it doesn't like mush together or go like that it just stays this regular shape darn it gotta do that again okay there we go so that looks pretty good then you can add your effects to it that you want. And then there you go. All you gotta do is add your name to it. With one of your favorite fonts or a font that matches the background. And then 
you're going to right click it, blending options, you're going to go to color overlay, and then you're going to choose the color that you did in the background, but a little darker, then outer glow, a lighter color of the background, it's really really light this time, and then stroke, white, three, overlay, opacity, let's see, drop shadow. Make sure that you can actually see the text. Let's see if that worked. If that doesn't work, then um, choose a different color for the color overlay. There we go. Now then, if you don't want your background to repeat, and if it will look weird when it repeats, you're going to right click on the paint bucket tool and then choose gradient tool. And then make it to the second option right here where part of it is transparent and then the other part is a color. And then you're going to change the um, color right here to a color that would work pretty good. So, and then you're going to hold the shift key and then drag up. And then drag up again until the bottom color is all solid. Then, And if you don't like the color, then you can choose the lock tool right here, the first one, the transparency lock. And then you're going to go to your brush tool and make it real big and then choose a color that you like instead of that one. Then, when you go, you double click on the color right here that you used and then you go to color picker, then there's the um, code right there that is the color code that you'll use in YouTube later, so you're going to copy that. And you're going to save your background as a Photoshop PSD file first, so you can save the layers just in case there's something wrong with it, or if you need to change it later. So, you're going to save that, and then now you're going to go into File and then Save for Web and Devices. You're going to go to that. And if your background has a lot of detail, you're going to save it as a JP jpeg file and um it'll make it a little bit less good quality than a png file would be which would be you would put png-24 if um your background doesn't have a lot of detail on it and um then it would be a less file a smaller file size and um youtube would accept it and so if you make a really detailed background like this one here and you save it as a PNG file, then YouTube isn't going to accept it because it's too big of a file. So you're going to save it as a JPEG file and then save it into your desired folder. Voila, there we go. And there you have it. Now you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to go to your channel. And you're going to go to edit channel in the corner right there. Then you're going to go to background and then press remove the, the background that you have right now. And then you're going to get the file that you wanted that you saved, that's the JPEG file, and then you're going to open it. And once it's uploaded into YouTube, you're going to, let's wait a little bit. There we go. And then make sure that it's set to no repeat. You're going to scroll down. And then see how it's the white color right here and then your color is right there. Then you're going to go to choose a color. 
and then um, right here where it has the little number sign and then the color code, you're going to paste in the color code that you copied earlier and keep the number sign in front of it. Then you're going to press accept and it's going to have the color right there. And then boom. Isn't that cool? Okay. So you're going to go to done editing. And there you have it. There's your new background. Yay! So thank you all for watching this tutorial and I hope it helped you. And if you have any problems with or questions with the um, tutorial that you need answered, just put it in the comments box below.